Hi, this is Linda from homeschooling6.com and today I wanted to share with you four very similar journals. These are from the Fun Schooling line and I get a lot of questions about these journals. People wondering what the difference is. So basically they all have many of the same pages. Um, these two are for the older students. These are for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. And these two are younger, for the younger kids, ages 9 to 12, or uh, grades 3rd, 4th, and 5th. If you're buying one for an older child, these two are exactly the same on the inside. All the pages are in the same order. The ones for the younger, same thing. All the pages are in order and are exactly the same. And I'll just to give you a, a quick look inside of what kind of pages. I'll have another video going more into detail with these books. So I'm not going to show a whole lot of pages. And again, both books have the same type of pages. Um, in the younger set, for instance, the animal quiz with the snail um, will be in this one, but it just might not be at the beginning. So they have, again, they have many of the same pages. And these are the pages that you will see in all four of these books. So what makes these ones for older students and these ones for younger are the copywork pages. Let me open up these books. As you can see, the one for the older kids has a longer passage and the font is smaller. The one for the younger children has a shorter passage with a larger font. Both journals have the child write in sort of like a composition type lines notebook here, which is great because by this age, 9 to 12, they're going to be using composition books anyway. So it's nice that the lines are like that to kind of get, get them training there. Another difference between the younger journals and the older journals are the graph, math graph papers. And as you can see, there's a different kind of copy work as well in both journals, both sets of journals. Um, sometimes they'll copy directly from their book and the other times they'll copy a passage. So let me find the math page in this one. I had a marker up here. But I put it so low you can barely see it. And here is the graph paper. So smaller graph paper, the squares in that one, and larger squares on this one. And that is, and as you can see, this one also has the copywork pages for a different kind of copywork. But basically, that is the difference between these two sets. So these two for older students and these two for younger students. And I hope that really helps you out with deciding which journal you would like to buy for your own child or children. And again, I'll go through making another video to go through the books a little in more detail. Thank you for watching and have a great day.